On his second day in Cyprus, the Pope met with the President of the Republic and the Diplomatic Corps. Benedict XVI focused on the sense of service and the work of civil authorities. The Pope said in their work as diplomats and politicians, they should promote human relationships based on truth, integrity, and respect for others. The Pope encouraged them to promote moral truth in every social setting and to favor policies coherent with natural law to work towards an environment of understanding, justice, and peace. After this meeting, the Pope went to the St. Marin School. There he met with the Catholic community of Cyprus, formed by the Maronite, Armenian, and Latin rites. The Pope told Cyprus's Catholics that because of the special geographic situation and politics of the island, it is up to them to promote interreligious dialogue with non-Christians. I urge you to help create such mutual trust between Christians and non-Christians as a basis for building lasting peace and harmony between peoples of different religions, political regions, and cultural backgrounds. Benedict XVI recalled the upcoming closing of the year for priests and asked Catholics to pray for vocations to religious and priestly life. In the Catholic School of St. Mirren, the Pope specifically addressed the parents. He reminded them of the promise that whomever gives their life to Christ has eternal life in exchange, and he encouraged them to teach their children to generously respond to the call from God. He also showed them the importance of work by professors at Catholic schools. The Pope said they form an important part of the transmission of faith in Cyprus, the smallest ones put on a play for the Pope. The last meeting of the day took place at the Church of Holy Cross of Nicosia, where he held Mass. During the homily, the Pope explained that the cross is not a sign of humiliation, but of triumph of God's love for man, and it is an invitation to personal sacrifice. Historic encounters in which the Pope met with ecclesiastical and civil authorities and with the Catholic minority of Cyprus. From the time he left Vatican City, the Pope has traveled 2,350 kilometers.